Also new this morning, an effort that's underway right now in Tampa is trying to stop a disturbing trend called pet flipping. I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway introduces us to advocates who are hoping to make a difference. Derek Gillen lost his best friend Lou when she slipped out the front door. And then takes her and sells her. Um, there's something horrible about that, right? Derek discovered someone flipped Lou after getting a call from her new owner. He was like, yeah, I've got your dog. You know, I bought her for $150, you know, earlier today. And, and then and when I was out walking, I saw one of your posters. People are now pet flipping, taking a stolen or adopted pet and turning them around for a profit. Because of this, the Humane Society of Tampa Bay and Hillsborough County's Pet Resource Center are strengthening their screening policies. It's a little bit of a waiting process. We, w we went ahead and checked if they had a veterinarian and were there prior pets. Potential adopters will now notice a change, having to show identification, proof of address, and fill out an application. So if you don't have intentions on making sure that the pet is in an environment where it's livable and comfortable as well as safe, then you should be allowed to have them. Tonight at 11, the types of dogs most likely to be adopted out by pet flippers, plus what you need to do before bringing home your next pup. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.